Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett, HardOCP.com, and today I want to talk to you about AMD's Ryzen Threadripper again. And for you guys that already own one, this is uh, basically a way to uh, look into getting your Threadripper paid for, if you already own one. So, how would we do that? Well, the dirty word is mining. And uh, of course that word is terribly dirty to any hard OCP reader, enthusiast, or gamer because we know how much this uh, mining craze has crushed the GPU market and simply uh, made it almost impossible to buy a video card at MSRP if you can even find one then. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through, I'm going to show you the system we're using, which is nothing special when it comes to Threadripper. And uh, we're going to show you how to get mining to uh, pay for your Threadripper. Okay, so what we have here is our uh, Gigabyte X399 Designare EX motherboard, obviously, for AMD's Threadripper. Good looking unit. We've got a GTX 1080 running on this. We have 32 gigs of Corsair RAM on our system. The, uh, this is obviously the 1950X Threadripper under here. That's what she looks like naked. Uh, this is the XSPC Raystorm water block, which is uh, all plumbed in under there, all nice and neat, as you might say. And uh, so right now, I'm going to show you, so this system's sitting idle right now, and it's running 104 watts at the wall, runs about 104 to 108 and uh, you don't need this much RAM. We're going to talk to you about that. We've also been running this without the cooling fan blowing across it for the last 24 hours. And uh, we didn't have any stability issues either. But uh, let's get over to our desktop and let me show you what this looks like uh, when it's all running and gunning. So like I said, our system's set up and it's, uh, it's mining right now. It is uh, using, uh, it's mining Monero. I'll show you how to do that. It's super simple. So... I know a lot of you are just concerned about hash rates. So if you look right here, and I'm going to link the uh, full article in the review on Hard OCP, and I'll have screenshots of this so you can see all this. But you can see right here that our hash rate, uh, in the last uh, 15 minutes, the highest it's been is 1,484.1. So that's a really nice hash rate. Uh, in fact, that's, uh, that's smoking. The things about mining on your GPU or your CPU that, uh, that are kind of scary are um, wattages and how much. So if you're going to run your system all the time, obviously that sounds tremendously expensive. It's the first thing I thought when I thought, man, if we're going to be mining on this Threadripper, you know, 16 core CPU, it's just going to be nuts. So at idle, the system was running 108 watts and I'm looking at kilowatt uh, at the wall right now. It's showing me 245 watts. We are not mining on the GPU right now, just the CPU. So we're at a 3.99, or let's call it four gigahertz across all 16 cores and threads. And if you look right here, and like I said, we'll have this, uh, we'll have this uh, in the article. Our CPU package power is only 155 watts under our full mining load. So that is bringing our core temperature up to about 42. Now what we see under, um, under our regular stress test, our core or CPU package power is up around 350 watts. And we're lucky if we can get it down into the low 60s with the severe water cooling that we have on there right now. Uh, air cooling is almost, you know, not even considerable for, uh, for full loads like we run under Prime 95, small FFTs for stress test. But considering the low temperatures we have here, I think it would be absolutely feasible for you to use this for Monero mining with actual air cooler on it. You might have to back off, you might have to back down to 3.7 or 3.8 across all the cores, but it would still be doing great. So this is the Threadripper 1950X. There you go, 39.99, 32 gigs of RAM. We're running at 26.60. Um, good timings. We have a 32 gigabyte footprint. As you see right there, we almost have zero memory usage at all. So it's not a, it's not uh, memory dependent at all. Here is our uh, CPU usage as a uh, shown by uh, Task Manager. In fact, let me bring Task Manager up. So 
it's showing that our CPU usage is at 60%. And you can see how it stays nice and flat with the load that's got on it. Um, almost no memory footprint needed. So the reason we're not showing that Windows doesn't show you 100% CPU utilization is because the Monero miner is actually running on the cores and not the extra. So you got 16 cores, 32 threads on this 1950X Threadripper. So you'll see here, our core is loaded 100%. Then the uh, threaded core, you know, hyper cores, hyper, uh, hyper threaded core, 2%. So you get 100%. So, it, so it, it's kicking in. It shows you 100% across all the actual physical cores. Let me show you how simple this is. So I'm going to close all this. And also you might notice how uh, well the uh, desktop usage was on this. You know, running a GPU miner on here, running, which we did. I'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, I think it was running 524 uh, hash per second with the GPU. So we were actually able to bump right over 2000 hash rate with this system with the GTX 1080 and the 1950X uh, Threadripper on it, which is uh, quite impressive. So to get this running on mining, you uh, can go to GitHub and get a XMR coin stack. So there's a little executable right here. I'm gonna run it as administrator and bam, I'm up and mining. Okay, now there are two little things here. When you open up this uh, XMR stack and you run it, there is a uh, CUDA backend DLL and an OpenCL backend DLL. And as you might guess, these are for getting your GPU mining alongside of your Threadripper, which is easily done. You double click it. There's a little, couple, a little bit of information you have to uh, spell out on the login screen, but it's, it's super, super simple. You will want to go to Monero.org and get you a wallet set up unless you want to mine for the pool which is a part of things going back to GitHub to help support their code. But to turn off your GPU mining, so in your XMR stack folder, all you simply do is, is grab those two DLL files, the OpenGL and the CUDA, and delete them or stick them in another folder and then run from there, and you're off and running to the races. And that's just how easy it is. So again, we're, we're mining on this machine again. It's already up to uh, 92 hash rate across each core. So we're at 1483 and you'll see the system is still extremely, extremely usable. So here's 4K video. Make sure we're at 4K. Yes, we are 2160p. So there we are. We're looking at 4K video streaming perfectly fine on a system that's mining. I actually did this earlier, checked it out. And the uh, I'll put up the benchmark on this as well. But the hit to this is almost just nothing. So, and there's our mining miner still running. So what's our hash in the last few seconds there? So we bumped about from 92 to 84. So we bumped down about 10% hash rate. 10% hash rate running 4K video. And again, you can see how easy it is to still use the desktop. I mean, it's just, it's just that simple. So, hey, if we wanted to do something, let's, you know, I mean, it, it just works. So it's feasible that in just daily, you know, desktop apps, you could leave this running in the background. Now you can also get fancy with it and go in and assign threads if you wanted to assign only, you know, 10 threads or 11 threads or 15 threads or whatever it is to it to make it run, you could do that as well. Uh, obviously, if you're doing like something gaming or video encoding or things like that, then obviously you're gonna be stressing more across the system. The other thing I wanted to show you was, we talked about getting this for free, right? So what the, what the hell is all that about? Well, this, this is a pretty interesting part of this. So this is a Monero mining calculator you can find over at coinwars.com. And uh, so, our hash rate was what, 1483, and let's look at it again. So we're up 1483. So we put our hash rate in there, 1483. What is our wattage we're pulling at the wall, which is 246. And just so happens that my cost to per kilowatt hour here in North Texas is 10 cents an hour. So that comes out. So let's go ahead and hit the calculate button. So it calculates what we're doing here. 
So if you look at based on XMR coins, which is what um, Monero is based on, and we're looking at Monero because it's, it's really easy to use, it's super private, uh, getting into Bitcoin mining now with just a couple of CPUs or GPUs just really isn't going to cut it. Um, let's see what uh, Bitcoin mining da, 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 or XMR mining. So annually, so if you were running this full on 24-7 a day, the rate we come to right now is $602.79 in profit. So that goes a long way to paying off, uh, paying off some of your hardware, especially if it's sitting around and you're not using it. Using it. Obviously, using going out and buying thread rippers to build a mining farm would be idiotic because of the infrastructure that just surrounds the motherboard and the RAM and everything else. But if you're already using all this stuff, there's absolutely no reason not to be doing this unless you just have an insanely high kilowatt per hour cost. So, um, so there you go. Like I said, we'll have uh, more details and links in the article. But there you go. We're... Uh, we're mining on Threadripper, 1950X, and uh, hopefully we'll have this one paid for in a year and a half. This is Kyle Bennett with HardoCP.com.